So howdy, howdy, we're in the new year and I think it's a great time to start planning. And I'm really excited because we're gonna do like a whole plan with me session today. I'm not gonna be doing an entire 2022 plan, but we're gonna definitely go through the high level, like how to go and start putting together a plan. Plus we're gonna talk through a little bit of a winter garden plan because we're still in early January and we still have time in winter gardening to go and do this stuff. So if you're a Florida gardener or not, and you wanna join me on this, um, let, let's, plan, let's plan. So get your notebook, get your pen, and if you wanna follow along in the things that I'm gonna be using, so I have my uh, seasonal gardening calendar. This is free, and you can get it from the link in the description below, or the 2022 Wild Floridian Garden Planner. This is the full, like over 100 pages, um, to help you plan your Florida garden. So. If you need those, go ahead, click the links below, and then you can immediately download them and print them if you want. And that's what I'm gonna be using as we go through this. So the first thing I like to do when I'm getting ready to do a garden plant is I just like to just like get it all out of my head. I, I don't know if you're like me, my brain is often just like literally that's how it goes. And I just sometimes cannot even get into the next steps that I'm gonna have to do a plan until I just get it out. I just need to write it down, whatever it is. So this can be types of plants that you wanna get, food you want to grow. Oh my gosh, I want that butterfly in my yard. I've always wanted like an arbor or a pergola or whatever. I don't know. Whatever's in your head, just get it out on paper. So let's just take a second and let's do that. Write it down. So now that you've just like gotten like all the stuff out of your head, you can also use this list throughout the year. This is a place that in the future I'm going to be just using to add as thoughts come along that I don't have a specific plan for yet. This is just like, hey, I saw this plant when I was watching a YouTube video and I want that. The other thing that I always like to do is have a little bit of time of reflecting backwards, like what went well, what didn't go well, what do I want to do differently? And that's actually what I did in the last two videos is I did a year of Florida gardening was one video where I just kind of show the stuff that happened, which was helpful for me as I went through all that footage to be like, oh yeah, that did happen. Oh, that did look good. Oh wow, why didn't I do more of that? So that always is good if you keep notes throughout the year or you just, just sit there and think what went well. Um, and then last week's video, I talked about how I grew 500 pounds of food, which was also helpful for me to look at some of the data and see like I sucked at summer vegetable gardening and I need to do better this year. That's one of the things I wanna adjust. So looking backwards, if you haven't, Florida garden before or garden before, like don't worry about that because this next section is going to help you no matter which way, whether you're experienced gardening or you're brand new to gardening. So the next thing that we're going to talk about is we're going to start down the journey of helping us prioritize because we just dumped a lot of stuff on a piece of paper. We thought about what maybe went well in the past or didn't go well, but now we're going to start thinking through it just more organized because I like organizing. So let's start with what's got you excited? Like what, when you were making that brain dump, like got you like, yes, but let's even take it a step back. Like, are you more excited about growing food this year? Are you more excited about maybe bringing more wildlife? You want to be kind of part of that conservation corridor, butterflies and birds and bees and whatever. Or are you just about the beauty? You want flowers, 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 flowers. You don't care if they have a function. You just want pretty. Or is there something else? Write that down. Me? I, I want all three of those. So I'm, I'm checking, I'm checking the food, the wildlife and the flowers. I've got goals this year. And I'm gonna make some notes on some of the biggest things that are important to me this year. Like I want to do a wildflower garden. That's like, we talked about that, like right back there. I want to just like fill that space with some wildflowers. I'm super excited. I'm like super excited about that actually. I'm excited about maybe bringing in some new butterflies this year. I want to add some host plants. And I'm just always looking for new flowers, which I think that kind of hits the wildflower garden. And for food, we're definitely, we're going after 500 pounds again, because that's 20% of the average family for, for food. And we just did 552, so I feel like this is a very achievable goal, but we're gonna do that. Now let's talk about what is annoying you? What's frustrating? What do you not like? What about things like mowing your lawn, plants that get out of control, plants that die on you, muddy messes, bad soil. Just like, what's the stuff that's bothering you this year? Something you need to go work on. For me, with the out of control, I definitely need to deal with some plants that are getting out of control. Bitter melon. Bitter melon is taking over. Oh, and that's the taro plant. 
taking it over my Xora. The bitter melon is going all over my gardenias and hibiscus and the sore fern is definitely crowding out my orange tree. So I am definitely gonna be dealing with some plants out of control this year. I feel like where I have plants dying, that's more of me just choosing wrong plants for wrong places. So I'll put plants dying because I'll talk about, you know what, some of the things I want to do this year is deal with some of the shade areas that I, I put more like full sun plants in and then was shocked that they, they weren't happy that they only got half a day of sun. So I think shady areas is one of the areas that's, I don't know if it's annoying me, annoying me, but it's definitely like, uh, like I need to deal with that. And I'm like, what infrastructure projects do you want to do? Like these are kind of the things that you're going to put plants around. They aren't necessarily the plants themselves. So things like um, building garden beds. Do you want to have some cattle pattern trellises? Mulch. Oh my God, with the mulch. Like clearly I do a lot of mulch. Do you want to add walkways? Do you want to add water features somewhere? Do you need to regrade any low spots, right? Because the earth is uneven, some things don't get very happy in that. Do you need to add irrigation? Is that why your plants are dying? They're not getting enough water or too much water? So some things to think about. So what are some of your structural projects you need to do? For me, we are definitely going to be building garden beds right back there. Actually, probably going to do that next video. Um, we're going to be mulching because that's how I get my, my beautiful black, black gold. Um, I mean, we're going to kind of sort of add a walkway. It's kind of more of a, an ish walkway. But yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. I, I, I need to try to do the raised beds because Mr. Bunny, he is out of control digging holes in my yard. And I'm getting frustrated that he keeps specifically digging up pepper plants. And I'm kind of over it. And I would like to get more peppers. <laughs> so we are doing, build, we're, we're, doing, we're doing the raised garden beds this year. Now, as you're looking at some of your top goals, so like if you picked food, as one of your top goals, you know, think through, is it vegetables you want to grow? Is it fruit you want to grow? And I'm going to kind of breeze through this because you can take the time to answer these yourself. Um, if it's wildlife you want to track, what type of wildlife are you thinking? Is it, you know, and the more you dig down, the more it's going to help you in some of the future parts of our planning. So, you know, vegetables, like, yes, I want to grow vegetables, but like, is it tomatoes? Is it lettuce? Is it like, what is it? Is it pumpkins? Is it just like whatever will grow best? You know, so if you're trying to think through, and if you're a Florida gardener and you're feeling like, I just don't know what will work here, it feels like stuff won't, um, besides the fact that you can watch all my videos, do check out the Seasonal Garden Planner. This is totally free for you guys. I every month put ideas for vegetables for the, se every month, Did I say every month, every season it has vegetable ideas, different wildlife plant ideas. It's got different gardening tips for each season. So it can help you figure out what will work well per season and have a place for you to make a, like kind of a high level plan for the season. So get that, it's free. Link in the description below. And I hope that helps you kind of start thinking through like what specifically, because if you want to just say, I want butterflies in your garden, like yes, planting flowers will get you butterflies, but you need to dig deeper. Like, is there a certain type of butterfly? Is it the giant swallowtail as seen on my shirt? You know, do you want to get like, maybe not bees as much, um, though the beautiful, like the blue sweat bee that I got on film, I couldn't believe I got it. That was a, that's a native Florida bee. Um, birds, is there a certain type of birds? You know, you need to think through some of that. Um, bees, you know, of course they need their nectar and their pollen. Um, but something also to think about with things like bees is that a lot of our native bees need dead wood and places for them to either dig holes in the ground or like in like little dead branches. So you also want to do some research. That's one of your goals on that. Butterflies, I've got a whole series on butterflies <laughs> um, and what you can do with that. So you can check that out. But the thing with butterflies is the number one way, like you need to think through which type of butterfly. So like for me, I'm all about the giant swallowtail. We definitely want giant swallowtails this year. And I feel like we're in a good place for that because we've just added more citrus, which is their host plant. Um, but one of the ones that I'm strongly considering putting in, but I just don't know if I'm going to put it in because I talking to some people at the native plant nursery, they're like, you know, you can put the host plant in, but it might not actually come because you're, you're in Pinellas County, which is a peninsula. They might not actually get over to was the zebra swallowtail, which host plant is the pawpaw, which also makes food, which is one of those like great one, win plants where I could have the zebra swallowtail. I could also be getting pawpaws. So I might go out for that one this year, but think through if it's butterflies you want, what specific butterflies are you thinking? 
monarchs are great our big um all of our big yellow butterflies you know are really simple and easy to get zebra not zebra swallowtails but zebra long wings gulf fritillaries super common to get throughout a lot of florida and there's a lot of great host plants so think through which butterflies do you want to get this year now if you were just about the flowers you're like i don't care if it's for butterflies i don't care if it's for bees like you're not against them but you're just like i just i want like bam i want like the big flowers right you know are you looking for the color are you looking for certain sizes like do you have a white look that you're looking for i know some people like they just like like lots of white flowers or are you looking for like those tropical colors right because i feel like florida like you you got to do a coral red you've got to do like a coral red because that's so florida like you want your fire bush you want like those big old hibiscuses that are like bam red i feel like that's very florida but yeah and besides the fact that you can do some research um and I gave you lists in here. I also gave you lists in the planner to give you guys ideas of things based on what your priorities are. So don't feel like, especially if you're Floridian, don't feel like I'm leaving you hanging. I definitely tried to put together stuff to help you along because I know that's like one of the hardest parts of Florida gardening is just like, what, 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 like, what do I grow? Like, I don't even know what to grow. Nobody seems to know what to grow. So lots of lists to help you out as you make your plan. And now that you have all these thoughts down on paper, they were great thoughts. They're fabulous thoughts, but let's be real. This is what my husband tells me all the time. You're not gonna get it all done this year. It's just not happening. As much as we feel like it's gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. So we need to take, we, got, we, gotta, we gotta prioritize. <laughs> so let's talk about, let's prioritize these great ideas. So what do you have to do this year? Like in your heart, like whether it's you need to do it because it's one of those problem spots that you, got, you have to deal with this year, otherwise this problem's gonna get out of control or go really bad or it's like one of those ones like it's you're just so excited about it you can't not do it this year like you need to do it this year and for me that is for sure the wildflower garden i am so excited about doing it i'm so like when i looked back at the footage of like the wildflowers i had just in this small spot here i was just like i want more of that i had wanted more of it throughout the year but to finally be like no i know where i'm going to put it i know what i'm going to do i am wildflowers I am so into doing a wildflower garden this year. Oh, just like a bigger one, like just so many wildflowers. I'm so excited for it. Like I have to do it this year. So I'm right making a note of that. Now let's go to the next part. Let's do the, if I have time, it would be nice. Because you didn't go crazy spending all the money. You actually have some time. Like what were the things, like if you get all your priorities done, what would be like the next tier things? like? And don't write more than four. Like I try to keep it to five because it just helps me make sure like these are the big things. So I know this year, wildflowers, I'm definitely gonna be doing raised garden beds down there. It would be nice this year to do some raised garden beds. I just don't know that that's gonna work out with the timing of vegetables and also just like money wise. And I wanna test out those beds to figure out like, do I wanna do more of the type of beds that I'm buying or do different types of beds up here? So there's a lot of logistics. So for me, raised garden beds in this area is a like, if I have time and it all can work out, like I'll do that. And then last but not least, and just as important is like, what could wait till next year? Like, we're not gonna do it all. We don't wanna forget the idea, but we're just gonna push that out. Like we're just, we're not gonna do it this year. It's just not happening. I feel like the raised beds here, I'm already on the edge of just being like, that's probably not happening until next year. I won't even count on it. but. What is your thing that you made all those lists? What are the things that will feel like they're high priorities, but like really you just need to push them out to next year, whether it's because of time or money or you can't, like whatever your reasons are, they're only important for you to know, but make sure you set your priorities right. So now that we've got all of our priorities, let's have a think about when are you gonna do these projects? Is it winter? Is it spring, summer, fall? So what I like to do is, where's my page? Introducing winter. Um, we've got this page here to talk about plant, prune, propagate, harvest, transplant, other. And here in the other section is where I'm gonna be writing my, my project ideas or the, whatever the thing. So like in winter, we're gonna be doing raised garden beds. Actually, that'll be in next week's video. I think I said that already, but if I didn't, there you go. Um, we're gonna also be doing a wildflower garden in winter, so those things for sure are gonna happen. I need to, I need to replant lettuce before I forget. Um, and there's some other vegetables I need to go through. And so just think through, is there things that you need to prune back? Oh, I need to prune back some of the dead milkweed. We are going to do that. 
that. The dead milkweed needs to get pruned. So now you can kind of make a list of what are you doing what, when in each season. And then the idea is, is that you take those things, it's like, are you doing it in January? Are you doing it in February? When are you doing these things? And you start moving them to these pages. So make sure that as you get in the middle of the year and like stuff's going crazy, like it does for me, you're not like, oh shoot, cause this happens to me. Oh my gosh, does this happen to me? Especially in fall. You guys have heard it every year. I'm like, oh, it's fall and I've just like totally lost. Like, <laughs> I just, there's too much going on and I totally lose track of the things that I'm supposed to do. And I'm super excited to use this to help me get through that. Now that we've got the general idea of which season, let's start really mapping out the things that are happening in the winter, in January and the winter. And I think there's a couple of different things that you're gonna wanna use is, um, I like to map out any projects. So what plants am I using? Um, like things like the garden beds, like what is gonna be the general spacing and the layout. So I have pages in here for, where are they? like for laying out the actual garden beds and then also for, you know, planning out the entire project of so I know what kind of things I need to go and buy, um, especially like which plants am I gonna be doing? And so you kind of go back and forth between like this project page and then you go back to the month to make sure like you're getting the stuff that you need and when. And then if you're trying to do some research on what it is you're gonna plant in the area. Let's say you're planting, it really doesn't have like a structure piece. It's more just about like, let's say you're putting in a butterfly garden and you're trying to learn about certain plants. There are also some pages in here for plant profiles because I have made videos on lots and lots of plants and I actually have to reference those videos frequently because I'm like, wait, when is that supposed to happen again? I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, so I'm really excited to have pages like this so that I can just have a quick like flip to of like, so that you can watch the video on ironweed and be like, oh yes, right, that's how big it gets and it really likes full sun and it has this and here's some of the things I need to do for care and you have like a quick reference for those pages. And then again, you flip back to the other way because let's say you're gonna put in a plant like um, milkweed and it needs to be pruned back in winter or late, win late fall, early winter. So you're gonna flip to your, your fall time period and you're gonna be like, okay, that needs to be done in November. So I'll put that in my November fall pages so I can remember to do that when I get there. So that's kind of how these work together. And now that we got the beginnings of our 2022 plan together, um, it's time to go put together those raised garden beds. So if you'd like to join me for that, go ahead and make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications, new videos each week. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.